Bob, can I tell you something? Is something wrong? I'm almost done with work, so if it's not urgent, you can tell me about it after I get home. I'd really like to talk to you directly after I get home, but I just can't wait. If you say something like that, I can't wait either. What the hell happened? I've been thinking for a while now that maybe... I just went to the OBGYN after work. I'm pregnant. Seriously? We're having a baby? That's right. Our longed-for baby. We're going to be parents, huh? I'm so glad we didn't give up infertility treatments. Janet, honestly, it must have been hard for you. All I could do was support you. Thank you so much for hanging in there. That's not true. When I wasn't feeling well, you did all the housework and everything. You really helped me out. Let's continue to help with each other from now on. Well, first, we have to have a healthy baby. Yeah, I know. I'll try not to burden you as much as possible so that you can have a healthy baby. Thank you. Janet, have you notified your parents yet? No way. Of course I wanted to tell you before anyone else. I'm not home yet either. I'm calling you as soon as I left the hospital. I see. Besides, I don't want to tell my parents yet. Of course, I don't want anything bad to happen to the baby, but... Until I'm in the stable period, I don't want to tell my parents or your parents. I'd like to tell my parents and your parents once the baby is in the stable period. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. I don't know this kind of thing. I respect your feelings. I appreciate you saying that. It's been almost five years since we started trying having a baby, right? To be honest, I was thinking it might not work. When the obstetrician said, you're pregnant, congratulations, I couldn't help but cry. I'm also glad that now, Susan won't pester me asking if we're going to have kids yet. I'm really sorry for making you feel bad. Every time I see my mom, I tell her, don't pressure us like that. It's the life we've chosen with or without kids. And she says, yes, yes, I understand, I understand. But she doesn't get it at all. Well, it can't be helped. You are an only child. I understand your mother's desire to have a grandchild. But she's too insensitive. Old people are like that. Forgive me. Don't worry about it. I'm pregnant. Susan doesn't seem to like me. I hope the pregnancy will improve our relationship a little. She's the one who gave birth to you, so I want to get along with her. Thank you, Janet. But she has quirks, so don't try too hard. Got it. We have to start thinking about the move, the baby's name, and all the other stuff. Bob, you're getting ahead of yourself, but I agree with moving out. We're living in the same apartment since you were single. It's too small to raise a child there. I'd like to buy an apartment or a house. Let's look around and see what's available. Yeah, let's do that. I can't focus on work today since I heard this news. I'm getting ready to leave the office and go home. Is it okay to eat cake when you are pregnant? Yeah, I guess I'll have to restrain myself as I gain weight. But for now, it should be fine. Good. I'm going to buy a cake from your favorite store. Let's celebrate. Thank you. I just got home a little while ago. I'll make your favorite dish with ingredients we have at home. Yay. I'll go shopping and I'll be home in about an hour. Okay, I'll see you then. Congratulations again, Janet. When you told me the day before yesterday that you were pregnant, I was really surprised. I asked you the other day if you were going to have a baby yet. Why didn't you tell me that you were pregnant? I was the only one who didn't know. I'm sorry, Susan, that I didn't tell you yet. But you were not the only one. We decided not to tell anyone until we were in the stable period. We decided that we wouldn't tell anyone. Not our friends, not the people at work. I didn't tell my parents either. 
Well, it's so sad that you treated me like your friends and colleagues. I've been so worried about you guys for so long, and yet you're so cold. I appreciate your concern. I was having morning sickness and all. I was afraid to tell you because I didn't know what would happen. I'm sorry I made you feel bad. Oh, well, I'll let bygones be bygones this time. Thank you very much. Not to change the subject, but I thought a pregnant woman needs to be nourished. I sent you all sorts of groceries yesterday. Have you received them yet? I just got home from work and was preparing dinner. Then I received the package. I just put them in the fridge. I should be the one to call you. I'm sorry for that. I was just about to call you, though. Oh, really? Well, that's okay. It's from a store known for fresh fish. It's really delicious. I wanted you to try it, too. I appreciate the sentiment, but I'm afraid I can't eat raw fish right now. So I will eat vegetables and processed foods. Bob will have the fish. I bought it because I wanted you to eat it. You're saying you can't eat what I bought? I didn't mean it, but you know that raw food is not good. Of course. Maybe you think I'm harassing you? No. The fish is really fresh, so it's safe for pregnant women to eat. I'm sure of it. I really appreciate your gesture, but I'm not feeling too well right now. So please, let me pass this time. Huh? You're a pregnant woman right now. Isn't taking care of your health the most important thing you should be doing right now? You still work all the time. I take days off from work when I'm not feeling well. I try to take care of myself, but I'm still having morning sickness. It depends on the day, but when I'm not feeling well, I don't have much of an appetite in the morning. So I don't want to eat any raw food, just in case. I'm worried about my unborn grandchild if you're like that now. It's my first grandchild, so I need you to be healthy. I'm sure the morning sickness will settle down soon, so don't worry. The doctor says my baby's growing well. Is that so? That's good, but... I just thought of something. I've got an idea. I'm going to make lots of food that you can eat even if you have morning sickness. I'll invite you to dinner. Come to my house next weekend. I've had morning sickness myself, so I know exactly how you feel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your concern. But when I'm not feeling well, I really don't have much of an appetite. I might end up leaving most of the food. I don't mind it at all. I want to do something for you, Janet. I hope you understand me. Thank you. Well then, I'll visit you this weekend. That's the way it should be. I'm really looking forward to it. Since Bob got married and left home, I've rarely cooked for anyone other than my husband. I'm so excited. I can't wait for the weekend. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it too. Thank you so much for today, Susan. You really made a lot of treats, and they were all really delicious. I wanted to eat them all, but I wasn't feeling well. I'm sorry that I left some of it. I thought you didn't like it. You were feeding Bob so much. I was watching you. Maybe I'm worrying too much. It's my first baby, so I try not to eat raw food, just to be safe. I'm sorry if I made you feel bad. I really appreciate your kindness. Oh, yes. I was really looking forward to it. It's just so unpleasant that you left that much food. Oh, no. Do as you please. But if you give birth to a baby with a poor appetite, I won't forgive you. I'll do everything I can to make sure I give birth to a healthy baby. I'm really, really sorry about today. Janet. What the hell happened while I was in the bathroom? I heard my mother crying and rushed out of the bathroom. You threw the fruit basket that mom gave us into the trash. And you said something incomprehensible like, Thank God. I was about to ask you what was going on, but she ran out. 
I ran after her and I'm listening to what she's saying. She still won't stop crying and she just insists that it's your fault. After what you did, of course, she's crying. I also think it's your fault. She is your mother too. She's been sending us food and inviting us to dinner. She's been so good to us. She brought us a fruit basket as a baby shower gift. Why did you throw it in the trash? You should call her and apologize to my sweet mom right now. Why should I apologize? Huh? Janet, are you serious? Actually, don't be surprised. I just want you to hear this. Your mother tried to take my son away from me. Tried to take away? What do you mean? She pointed to the fruit she brought me. She said, I want some too. Could you peel it for me? I'll watch him. I went to the kitchen to peel it. I felt someone moving and turned around. And neither Susan nor my son were there. I ran out of the room and saw her heading for the door with my son in her arms. I rushed to bring him back and ask her, What are you doing? She said, We will raise our grandchild. I feel sorry for my grandchild if he was raised by you. You're no longer of any use to us, so you and my son need to get a divorce. So I got mad and threw the fruit basket in the trash, and by saved, I mean my son. I can't believe she would do such a thing. I don't think you are lying, but to be honest, I'm confused. You didn't seem to notice, so I kept quiet until now. She tried to make me eat raw food, which they say is not good for pregnant women. Even when she invited us, there were so many raw foods, like raw fish, raw ham, raw egg, and so on. Don't you remember? Well, that's true. So I told her in advance that there were many things I couldn't eat. I didn't eat any of the raw food, so you ate it for me. Instead, I ate everything else with relish. She was really sarcastic about it. I wanted to get along with her if I could, but she hates me so much. I couldn't take it anymore. She almost took my son away from me and told me to divorce you. I don't want to get along with her anymore. To tell you the truth, I don't want to see her again. Janet, I'm really sorry. I didn't notice anything. On top of that, I told you to apologize to her. I just asked my mom about it and she said it's true. It's her first grandchild and she really wanted to raise him. She decided to bring him home today. She said she thought I could join them later. Now you know. I'm frustrated. I said I'd protect you, but I haven't done anything. Please forgive me. I'm going to change. Bob, that's enough. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Besides, now that I think about it, once I realized that she might be harassing me, I probably should have talked to you about it. I'll never let my mom near you or my son again. I promise this will never happen again. Yeah, thanks. Good evening, Susan. Janet, I've been meaning to call you too. Thank you for calling me. Maybe you've forgiven me? Yesterday, Bob got really mad at me. He told me that he would never let me see you or my grandson again. It was just an impulse. I'm sorry. So you'll let me see my grandson from now on, right? Ah, of course I want to see you too. I can tell right away that you don't mean it. You are not a good liar, aren't you? I'm not lying. I mean it with all my heart. Even if you weren't lying, I would never forgive you. You tried to take away my son, whom I gave birth to with all my heart. You told me to divorce Bob. How can I forgive such a person? That's... I contacted you today to say goodbye. Huh? Goodbye? Wait a minute. Don't say that out of the blue. To be honest, I'm still mad. I thought about just blocking you, but thanks to you giving birth to Bob, I was able to meet him and even have a child with him. Before I block you, I want to thank you. Thank you so much for giving birth to Bob. 
You don't need to thank me and don't block me. Let's get along from now on. I'll help you with my grandchild and everything. I can't get along with you. I'd rather you not have anything to do with my son. I've already said thank you, so I'll block you. Goodbye. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Janet, I'm coming to see you now. I'll apologize or whatever. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. Janet? I blocked Susan. My father-in-law heard about the numerous harassments she had done to me and the fact that she tried to take our son away from us. He left the house and wants to live separately for a while. I guess it's only a matter of time before my mother-in-law gets divorced. Bob, too, can't forgive her for what she did. He says he will cut all ties with her. I feel a little sorry for him, but I want to think about my husband and son first. I can't help it. My son has received a lot of love from my father-in-law and my parents. I think he is happy. I live in a new house that we moved into when I was pregnant, and our family of three is getting along very well. I love my parents and my father-in-law very much. They often visit us. If something happened to them, I would like to take care of them. Hey sis, you know what tomorrow is, right? Um, tomorrow is when your fiancé is coming to our house. That's right, my fiancé, Yuri, is coming. It's a happy story that a bottom feeder like you can never have, right? And of course, you know what? Let's see, are we talking about the fact that you shouldn't be at home? No, I'm not. I need you to stay. Oh, really? You really never get it, don't you? I'm sorry. And you know what I want you to do. I'm sorry, but I need you to tell me how I should respond. Ah, oh, you're so stupid, okay? You're my sister, but only half-sister. You're just an unwanted child who came along as a bonus when mom and dad remarried. You're only half-blood related to me, and you're basically a servant. Mom and dad have been very gracious to keep you in our home. You will treat my fiancé the same way as your master. A servant? What? You have a problem with it? Uh, I've told you many times that if I'm so unwanted, I'll leave. Huh? If you do that, I'll lose a handy servant who works for free. Don't you understand such a simple thing? If you understand your position, you wouldn't have come up with that idea, would you? You are really, really stupid. Anyway, I should just stay home tomorrow, right? That's right. Oh, but as soon as you serve Yuri refreshments, go back to the kitchen. He is going to greet my family and you are in the way. A servant is supposed to leave like a servant and stay out of our way, not to disturb us. Understood. Yuri, are you on your way? Hello, Rachel. I just got on the train. Got it. I'm still nervous about meeting your parents. I'm two years younger than you, and I wonder if they consider me unreliable. You don't have to be so formal. My parents would never oppose to marry a high-spec person like you, Yudi. I'm sure they wouldn't be against us getting married. I'm not that great of a guy. It'll be fine. Oh, I forgot to tell you, you know... There's this strange woman living in my house. Weird woman? A housekeeper, or more like a housemaid. A housemaid? She's staying with us for reason, so she does all the housework for us. So she's a live-in nanny? Yes, something like that. I think she'll probably go in the back after serving tea, but don't mind. Oh, I see. Rachel, thanks for a great time. Yes, Yudi, thanks for coming today. Hey, like I said, our mom and dad made you very welcome, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Next, we have to decide on a wedding venue. When are we meeting again? 
Hey, let me ask you something. What is it? That living maid. Her name is Miranda, right? Um. Yes, that's right. Oh, mom called her so, did she? What about our maid? I asked, who is she? And you said my servant. Isn't she really your sister? What? Why? There is someone in my family who knows Miranda. What? She was taken in by her mother when her parents divorced. Her mother remarried a year later to another man. She had a younger sister from that marriage. About ten years older than her father. What? The age difference, the sister's name, and the mother's name also matched. Above all, she looks like your father. Are you treating your own sister as a servant? Wait, wait, wait! You know that's certainly one way to think of it. But that woman is positioned as a mere servant in our family, so I don't consider her my sister. There's no use pitying. She's not related to the head of the family, my father, by blood, so she deserves to be excluded from the family. So you can treat her like a servant too, okay? So that's how you treat your half siblings. Well, it can be helped. Then let's break off the engagement. Huh? We'll have a formal meeting later to break off the engagement. Hey, wait! Let's invite both parents and your sister too. Why is this all coming from that servant talk? I mean, I haven't met your parents yet. I'll tell you that some other time. Anyway, I don't follow your line of thinking. What are you talking about? If your parents meet my father, they would know. I'll see you later. Yuri, sis, damn it, sis! What did you blow into my Yuri? What? What? I'm about to break off the engagement because of you. Huh? What the hell did you do? I didn't do anything. Liar. Rachel, what happened? Shut up. Get out. What? Get out of the house today. Um. Good evening, Miss Miranda. I'm Yuri, Rachel's fiance, who visited your home today. I'm sorry for surprising you by asking you to exchange email addresses with me out of the blue during the day. I tried speaking to you so that Rachel wouldn't find us. I apologize for not being able to explain the purpose of the address exchange. Oh no, I'm also sorry for not greeting you properly. So, is there something you wanted to see me about? Yes, but before I go any further, I would like to confirm one thing just to be sure. Your birth father was from Kansas City, Kansas, and his name was Herman, wasn't it? Ah,、uh, yes, that's right. Then I was right after all. Hmm. I'm your brother. Eh? Half brother to be exact. I'm a brother with a different mother. I heard that my biological father remarried. Is that right? Yes, that remarriage is with my mother. Um, about that, Rachel. I haven't told her about my relationship with you yet. However, when I heard how she treated her sister and how she thought about her, I asked her to break off the engagement. Break off the engagement? Oh, that's why she. Miranda, is something wrong? She told me to leave the house by the end of the day. So furiously. What? It's obviously my fault. I'm so sorry. No, that's totally fine. I was surprised when she told me, but actually, I've always wanted to leave home, so it was a good opportunity for me anyway. Um, leaving your parents' house is sudden, isn't it? If you don't have a place to go, would you like to come to our house? Oh, but when I told my father about you, he said he never knew you were being treated so badly, and that he wanted to help you. Father, I heard that at the time of the divorce. Father was fighting an illness and could not get custody of you, his daughter. He wants you to let him do something fatherly this time. My mother agrees with his idea. I hope you feel secure. Thank you very much. Can you come out to the Forest Hills Seventy First Avenue station? Father and I will pick you up in the car. Yes, I think I can manage a train fare somehow. Eh? Um, perhaps you don't have any money. 
to admit my stepfather controls the account to which my salary is transferred. I only receive hundred dollars a month from it. With what I have on hand now, I thought I could barely afford to spend a night at a hostel. They even took away your salary? If so, that's even worse. Please come. Yes, thank you so much. No way! I can't believe you is my sister's half brother. The world is small place, isn't it? I was really surprised when Yudi told me. But I don't want to break off the engagement. It was officially decided to break it off at today's meeting. I could have married into wealth. Oh, because Yudi's father is a business owner. That's right. I heard that Yudi is his successor. I was aiming to be the CEO's wife. Hey, think about it. Think about what? You already know that Yudi's father is also my real father, right? So what? I don't think I would want someone who has treated my daughter like a servant to be my son's wife. <gasps> Besides, the reason my real parents divorced was because mother cheated on him. Cheating? Mom? The man she cheated on with was your father. The man she remarried to. What? You wouldn't want the daughter of such a man to be your son's wife, do you? What are you saying? Shut up! Hey, money! Give me your salary. You mean the bank account? Yes. When Dad tried to withdraw this month's money, the bank book and the card were both disabled. You did something, didn't you? I had the bank book and card reissued. The bank book and card your father has are no longer valid. Huh? I'm the one who left that house. I don't think it's right for my salary to be managed by your family. But that's so unfair. You'd never think that the thirty-two hundred dollars out of our monthly household income of five thousand dollars. I can't believe that was your earnings. Wow, that's the first time I knew that your father's earnings. I never knew that. Hey, give me the money and do the housework. Ever since you abandoned your role as servant, the house has become a dump. It would run well if the three of you share the chores. Ah,、uh -huh. you told me to leave, so be responsible for your words until the very end. Shut your mouth. Yeah, right. Bye, bye. No, not so. No, it's not that. <laughs> Why is this happening? I'm no longer in the running for the big prize. We can't live on my dad's salary. Give me some money, sis. Have you packed your stuff for the move? Yes, it's almost done. Speaking of which, hmm, I got a message from Rachel asking me for money. Worried? Well, she's my sister, even if only half. You're too kind, you know. If you reach out to her now, it won't be good for her. Of course, the same goes for those parents, and it's in your best interest that you stay out of their lives. You're right. For now, I'm going to put my own happiness first. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, we're having a barbecue in our yard this Sunday. Mother and father insist that you come too. What do you think? May I? Of course you can. We're family, Yuri. Okay. Well then, I'm going. Yes. I heard they're bringing in some good meat, so look forward to it. Okay. Thank you. My brother's words fell on my heart, and I was able to take a step forward. Now I rent an apartment near my father's family. I am invited to my father's house occasionally for meals and overnights, and we are deepening our relationship peacefully. On the other hand, my sister has never worked. My mother has been a housewife. My stepfather actually has a do-nothing job off the carrier ladder and has only a low salary. My sister has started dating a celeb man, hoping to get a shot at the top of the ladder again. But surprise, he was married. She is now in debt for alimony for the man's wife, and her life is even more difficult. For some reason, she contacted me and asked me to deal with her debt. I was just about to change my phone number, so I just ignored it, and that was the end of it. 
Thank you for watching. Please press the like button and subscribe to our channel. See you in our next video. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.